What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Diode Dynamics six inch stage series LED light bars in your 2015 and up WRX and STI. from Pro Lights here in Canada. I'll have a link down below in the description if you want to check them out. But let's get started with the install. And so first things first is to remove the front bumper. If you've never done that before or you're not sure how to do it, check out some of my previous videos where I go in more depth. Pretty simple bolts and clips on the top and the bottom as well as one on each wheel well. All right, and just like that, bumper's off. And we can get started. All right, so this is the box that arrived from ProLights here in Canada. They are the distributor for Diode Dynamics up here. And in the box is the Diode Dynamics six inch LED light bars. I'll open one of them up here really quickly. Um, packaging really nice and secure. Everything's done very well. Hardware there. So this is the light bar itself. Everything's constructed from metal and it's really, really rugged and secure feeling. Um, it has a nice weight to it, a really nice build quality. And as you can see, plug and play connector on the end. And what's really cool about these light bars is that the lenses on the front here are interchangeable. So you can get the wide angle output or spot beam output, as well as clear or amber colors. Also in the box is the hardware, the box here, the other light bar. And then ProLights carries a variety of different wiring harnesses for especially the Subaru WRX and STIs. So you can contact them if you have a custom project you want to do. Um, if you want these light bars to turn on with your DRLs or your fog lights or your high beams, like whatever you want, you can talk to them and they will be able to help you out and get you set up with the right kit. To show you guys quickly before I get on with the install. This is the alternative lens included for the driving light, which is kind of more of like a spot. Um, it just is straight out. Um, right now, this one on here is the wide, so it's a little bit more diffused, it's gonna go wider. So when I'm out on the highways, um, this one's actually gonna be better for me, because I wanna see more in the ditches, especially on the sides of the roads when there's no street lights whatsoever. Um, watch out for wildlife and whatnot. But you can actually change these out yourself, which is really nice. Just swap it in there and you can see that one's clear. This lets you install it with a switch that they include in the box. So that's pretty cool here if you wanted to run it independently. Um, ProLights was able to get me a customized setup with this wiring harness so I can run them with my fog lights, which is really cool. And then if you buy the kit for the WRX and STIs, these are the brackets that mount it in here behind the grill. It's gonna be a really nice mounting location and it's gonna be very sleek. You won't even know it's there, but the performance is gonna be perfect, especially for what I want when I'm out on the highways. We're actually gonna mock up how the light bars connect to the brackets. They give you a lot of different hardware and some other brackets that you would use if you're mounting these in a different application. Um, and majority of this hardware is for that. So this hardware here we'll use to just screw in through the Subaru bracket. I'm just gonna mock it up into position. This is a 10 mil bolt as well. So we've got it kind of positioned here loosely. This can still move. And then we're gonna remove the bolts that this connects to. So 12 mil right in the middle here. Then on the two sides, this goes to the radiator. We're gonna take out, those are 10 mil bolts. Then I'm just gonna position it loosely in here. And then you'll put that 12 mil bolt in the middle. Make sure you get these brackets on the sides in, in first, because you won't be able to get them in after. And then starting on the one side with the 10 mil bolt, we'll put that in there. After 125,000 kilometers and three years on this car, I anti-seize every single bolt pretty much that comes out. <laughs> Make sure I don't have any issues in the future. 
Now these bolts kind of go into the radiator. There's like a plastic piece, so you might have to reach behind and hold it while you screw it back in. Once it's in there though, it's good. And you can take your wrench and tighten those up. I'm not gonna tighten everything all the way though. It's still actually pretty loose. So then we're gonna position it, make sure it's all straight. You might have to play around with these bolts to make sure you get it straight. A tip that I'm finding to help with mounting these is looking from above. You might have to push one side in a tiny bit, like less than a few millimeters, uh, to get them perfectly straight, but you can adjust the output however you want. got the light bars mounted, uh, we've tightened everything down. I'm gonna move on to the wiring side of things. So this is where I'm gonna position the relay and then I'm gonna have all the wires coming out here. Um, the wire that goes to the fog light is over here on this side. And then there's one really short wire that comes out and I've looped it up behind. This is gonna connect to the first light bar. I'm gonna tidy this wiring up in, in behind this foam stuff and just basically connect that here. Then the next one, I'm just gonna plug into the other light bar. Nice plug and play connection. And I'm gonna secure this wire up here so that it doesn't kind of shake around as I'm driving, I guess. All that's left is the fog light switch signal and then the battery positive and negative. I'm gonna fish those up from behind here. Up towards the battery negative onto the negative terminal like that just enough and then the positive wire goes right onto here Spark. now the very last thing we need to do is the fog light connector which is basically like the signal that says the power is coming to the fog lights turn on the light bars one end goes into the OEM connection spot like this, and then this end goes into the actual fog light. Now if we turn the lights on to test it, everything should work. So there's my headlights, and now if I turn the fog lights. Once you've got them mounted into position, now you can actually see where they're aiming out at, and you can make some fine adjustments at this point before putting everything back on to get the lighting level and the output exactly to where you want it. guys so wrapped up the installation overall process took me about an hour and a half just got back from a quick test drive and the results were exactly what I was looking for the beam pattern with this lens is really nice and wide it's it's exactly like I wanted so I can see very well in the ditches basically um, or the grass on the sides of the roadways so when I'm out you know adventuring checking out the mountains a lot of the times when I'm going out I want to get out there early morning and catch the sunrise or if I'm checking out the sunset, I'm coming back late at night, the sun's gone down now that daylight savings times is over, it gets so dark so quickly. So these are a perfect addition to the WRX for the next six months of winter that we're gonna have here. Very quick and simple mod, very versatile feel with them now. I can kinda go out more and be less worried about um, it getting darker. I mean, these lights are good and the morning motor fog lights are great, 
but just having more, it's, it's even better. So if you want some better lighting output or kind of like a wider beam pattern from a nice light bar, uh, the Dow Dynamics ones seem to be awesome. I'm gonna wrap this up here now. I'm gonna end the video with some footage from tomorrow morning. I'm actually getting up bright and early. We're gonna head out to the mountains at around 5.30 a.m. So I'll show you guys some footage of what the lighting looks like on the highway.